Hi guys and welcome to another Android Studio tutorial. In this video we're going to be looking at scroll views. So if you have an app where you've got lots of text and lots of buttons and you want to be able to scroll through all your text and buttons we're going to look at how we can do that. So first of all we're going to open up a new project. Okay, I'm just going to call this scroll view demo and we're going to use, I'm just going to use API 16 for now a blank activity I'm going to leave, yeah, use the defaults here so just click finish and it's going to generate a new pro, a new uh, layout ok so there's our standard hello world program now the first thing, first thing I'm going to do, I'm just going to change this from a relative layout I'm going to change it to a linear layout just to highlight all of that linear layout so we've got a linear layout now so what I want to do is I'm just going to populate this hello world view actually actually, what I'll do first is what I always do is I highlight the whole lot control alt and L and it will just reformat so we can see everything nicely so I'm just going to go to this, this string here this hello world string so right click go to declaration and I want to populate this with a load of text so I'm just going to open up this Google Chrome window here and I'm just going to select all this copy and just paste that in go back to our window and there's our our text. So if we run this as is, uh, use the same device for future launches. And so there's all our text, but we know there's much more. We can't there's not, we, we can't read it, but we want to be able to read it. We want to be able to scroll. So what we need to do is we need to use what's called a scroll view. So we want to encapsulate this text view in a scroll view. So we in, come down here. We should give ourselves a little bit of room less than sign and there's scroll view there scroll view now generate those attributes we're just going to go match parent match parent and then we're going to take this finishing tag this finishing tag here we're going to cut that and we're going to paste it here and what we'll do is just highlight this and again control alt l and it just reformat it so it looks nicer so we can see what's going on so we've got a linear layout and inside the linear layout linear layout we've got a scroll view and inside that scroll view we've got a text view and we can see that in our design view if we go to our design view we can see exactly what's going on here we've got a linear layout and inside the linear layout is a scroll view and inside that scroll view is a text view so if we run that now ok we've got our scrollable view which is great, we're getting there. But so let's say we want to add uh, buttons, some more text, maybe, maybe some images. We can't do that because scroll view will only allow one child. This is this is a child. Whereas unlike a, a linear layout, a linear layout can can accept um, multiple uh, widgets and views and and lay other layouts. A scroll view can only take one one child which is this text view if we were to if I was to copy this text view and add this so I'm just going to copy it and add it again we're going to get a rendering problem here saying that scroll view can host only one direct child so how do we get around this then so what we need to do is which I'll just delete that what we need to do is we need to give scro sc scroll view just wants one child so we give it a, line a linear layout because inside a linear layout we can have many many widgets and views and whatnot so just between the text view and the scroll view we're going to add a linear layout and that's going to be match parent and that's going to be match parent and in this end tag we're going to cut this end tag and we're going to pop it just pop it there in between our text view and our scroll view and again let's select all of this and control alt l 
so we can see what's going on. So we've got a scroll view. Inside that scroll view, we have a linear layout, and inside the linear layout, we have a text view. So scroll view's only got one linear layout. So if we if we run this just to make sure it's it's going to run okay. Okay, it's still it's still running fine. Now if we if we want to add more views and, and buttons inside this linear layout, what we need to do is we need to designate the orientation. Now let's just look at this for a minute. We've got a scroll view, a linear layout and a text view. So we don't really need this linear layout here. So if we're going to start adding multiple widgets and views inside of a, a linear layout, what we really need to do is encapsulate the whole lot in a scroll view. So we can remove this scroll view and this scroll view and we're going to put the scroll view out and we're going to capture the scroll view to take everything so just insert a new line we go scroll view and then we want, oh, we want layout height uh, match parent and we also want layout width uh, is layout width to match parent Okay, so we've got, let's just close this window a bit so we can see a bit more what's going on. Let's just move that over a bit. So we've got a scroll view and don't forget we need to, we need to end it. That's just encapsula encapsulating nothing. So it's just uh, announcing a scroll view. So we need to remove that slash, come down here and less than slash and it finishes off our scroll view. So as you can see it's changed, completely changed our preview. We no longer have the device we because we have a scroll view. Because we're using a scroll view so we can see everything. So we don't really need this linear layout now. So we can get rid of that, get rid of that. And again I want to highlight everything. Ooh, I want to highlight everything. Control L just to tidy it all up. So what we've we got now, we've got a scroll view, and inside that scroll view we've got a linear layout, and inside that linear layout we've got a text view. Now because linear layouts can take multiple, can host multiple children, we can populate as many views and bit buttons as we want. So if we go to design, we try that, let's see what happens. So we go to design, we're going to add a button, but you see what happens, it's try to put it beside it. So we can't see it. We want it at the bottom. So what we need to do here is we need to tell the linear layout that it's a vertical orientation. So anywhere in, inside here, we just go over orientation. There is there first thing that comes up, and it's a vertical layout. And as you can see, our button appear at the bottom there now. So we, what we can do is we can add lots of buttons. Just keep adding buttons. We add a load of buttons just to give you an idea of how we can scroll through to give a representation of what we're scrolling. Okay, that should probably do it. So let's let's run that now and see what happens. So there's all our text, we scroll down, then we come across our buttons. So there's all our buttons. So there's the scroll view in action. And obviously you don't just have to have buttons, you can have some you might have some more text, you might have some images. Um, but there's another thing another thing you can do. This might be enough just for what you want. There's another thing you can do. Let's say you you've got all this text. But you don't want to scroll through these buttons, you want to scroll sideways. So you want to put all these buttons in a line and you want to be able to scroll the button sideways. We can do that too. So what we need to do again is what we're going to do is we're going to separate these buttons. So let's just make some space after the text and down the end here and make some space so we can see what we're doing a little bit easier. So we're going to create another scroll view. But this time it's going to be a horizontal scroll view. So if we go to design, if we go down to our containers, we can see there's our scroll view and there's a horizontal scroll view. So we can add a horizontal scroll view, but we'll do that in our text. 
so we're less than and we type H as a horizontal scroll view and there's our attribute so we're going to go match parent match parent there's the last tag for a horizontal scroll view so we're going to take that we're going to cut that and we're going to put it after our buttons ok so it's come up with this error horizontal scroll view can host only one child so it, as far as it's concerned it's got multiple children all these buttons so we need to put them in a, in a, in a layout so just before just after our horizontal view we want to less than linear layout match parent match parent we take this tag this finish tag cut we scroll down and we put that in between our buttons and our linear layout so there's there's our layout now beside us so let's run that and see what happens so we've got our text we scroll down we get to our buttons we can actually scroll sideways so there's there's horizontal view horizontal scroll view so there's a bit of both we've got a vertical one we've got a horizontal one and, and you can you can keep you can keep going with this with this stuff i mean you could if you wanted to have more text after the uh, the horizontal scroll view you could have some more text you'd um just create um, another text view Match parent, match parent. Let's insert some text. Uh, this is some um, more, oop, some more text. Ooh, can't type today. Text. Oof. me. Okay, let's run that. buttons and there, obviously there's some more text and you can imagine now you can you can have this a huge amount of text and you can put that you can put this text view again you have to put it in a linear layout and then you have to put that in the scroll view so you'd have a scroll view inside a scroll view and you could go on forever and ever so but as long as you remember a scroll view can only host one child so in this case this let's, let's, let's highlight everything tidy it all up control all L so we have a scroll view as far as it's concerned it's got one child which is this linear layout which goes all the way down to here it's only got one child that linear layout because this linear layout looks after everything else this text view this horizontal scroll view uh, and this text view here again if we go to design we can probably see that a little bit better here so we've got this scroll view and the scroll view is only looking after this linear layout so it's got one child but this linear layout it's got this text view, this horizontal scroll view and this text view because linear layouts can host multiple children so it's got more than one but this horizontal scroll view if we open up this one just close that one there this horizontal view has only got one, la only got one child this linear layout but this linear layout has got all these buttons so as long as you remember that uh, you have to, you, if you're going to use the scroll view you have to use uh, a frame layout, uh, sorry a linear layout or you could use relative layout but um, you're best off sticking with linear layout for scroll views and again remember uh, if you want to scroll up and down you have to designate the orientation to be vertical I didn't in this case for this this um, this layout because we're scrolling horizontally and by default linear layout will be horizontal if it doesn't, you've noticed what I, was, I don't don't specify the orientation here it's because by default orientation uh, reverts to horizontal if you want to use a vertical you have to tell it to if you don't specify it it looks like it goes to horizontal so that's that's pretty much it guys um, I hope I didn't confuse you too much and rabbit, rabbit on too much uh, and I hope it helped thanks for watching guys and thanks for subscribing